Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the top 5 best budget user cards in Madden 19. Now of course yesterday I did go over the best budget quarterbacks in Madden 19 but I figured I'd do a top 5 for the user cards and I gotta say of course the budget is going to be 100,000 coins for these players. I figured 100k is probably about right. Uh, there is definitely some players on here for way less than 100k and there's some right around 100,000 coins so with that being said let me know down below what other positions you guys want to see of course I did quarterback this is going to be users and by the way this is not going to be like safety users I know a majority of people do use are their linebackers so this is what this one's going to be but let me know down below what other position you guys want to see and let's get right into it and starting off first we have Josh Jones now this man when I said budget is 100k he's 1500 coins this is one of the best budget users in the game and probably one of the best budget cards in general. He's less than 2,000 coins and the man has 90 speed. That's ridiculous. Now, of course, I feel like there's certain situations you want to put this card in and uh, definitely some situations you don't want him in there. Uh, if it's third and long or any basically, you know, any part of the game where you know for a fact you're going to be passing, that's when you should put in Josh Jones. You do not want him in there running when they're running the ball because he has 50 block shed with a 63 player. You're going to want to user this card, obviously best budget users, but I would only suggest you put him in the game if it's maybe third and long, second and long, a position where you know your opponent has to pass the ball, or if they come in at five wide. That's literally about the only way I'd put in this Josh Jones on the team, but he actually is really, really good. He's got 90 speed, 88 acceleration. Besides that though, rest of his stats not so good but he does have 90 hit power too uh, he's six foot two with a 73 catching and a jumping of an 86 that's better jump than Deion Jones that is catching wise better catching than Deion Jones he's got better speed one less excel he's one inch taller and he's only got minus one hit power this is a crazy good user card because if you're using him he's gonna be really fast able to get over the middle and of course if they throw like a slant or a drag He's got 90 hit power. He can definitely wait and just completely just throw somebody to the ground. So Josh Jones is definitely a very, very solid budget guy, but only put him in when you know for a fact they're passing. Now, next up is going to be Griffin. Now, Griffin's going for about 16,000 coins. So again, a pretty cheap option when it comes to a 100,000 coin budget. And once again, guys, you can always just end up putting this guy at outside linebacker, middle linebacker, doesn't really matter where you put him uh of course his natural position is right outside linebacker but i don't believe you lose anything in putting them at middle linebacker because i think it's just awareness so if you use them awareness doesn't even matter but you guys can see he is six foot one so he's not as tall as someone like anthony Barr, of course is six foot five but he has 89 speed with 87 acceleration so he's extremely extremely fast and i've played against this card a couple of times people using him or not even using him and he's an absolute beast he's super super quick he also has an 80 tackling which is actually kind of solid uh 77 block shed so a little bit better block shed than josh and of course an 84 finesse so we can actually pass rush too if you want to send him on a blitz instead of using one play he can definitely get after the quarterback now he does also have an 81 agility which is pretty solid basically allowing him to move a little bit more fluently around the field uh catching wise it's not good it's a 26 but i really don't think it matters i've seen this guy get interceptions before so it's not like he's not going to catch interceptions if they throw right to you jumping up an 82 which is okay as well with the fact that he's also six foot one uh take a look at his stamina he has an 83 not bad and of course he also have a hit power of an 82 which is also not too shabby so for 16,000 coins you get a six foot one 89 speed outside linebacker that can pass rush and you can use her or you can put him at middle linebacker sending him on a blitz right up the middle he's pretty freaking good and pretty versatile not just as a user card but also as a pass rusher but mainly for a user still pretty good now on to what i believe is probably the best budget middle linebacker in the game is 90,000 coins 
Roquan Smith. Now, of course, it's the Blitz Edition. I personally have his Rookie Premier, so I have the Gauntlet Master Edition. So what I suggest you guys do is use this card until you have enough coins to get his Gauntlet Master. You know, you complete the solo challenges, and you can get the 95 overall Roquan Smith. This Roquan is really, really good. I had the 89 overall because, of course, with the Rookie Premier, I got it upgraded to the Blitz, and then, of course, I got the 95 later. But this Roquan Smith is so freaking good. He's got 88 speed, 90 acceleration. In my opinion, I like this Roquan more than I liked my Ryan Shazier. So the 89 Roquan is really good. 6 foot 1, 90 tackling, pretty solid block shot at 78 with an 89 hit power. And let's say you don't use him for a player or two, he's got 81 zone. He can definitely be out there by himself. Not the best coverage, but he definitely can cover. And that 90, 89 hit power is still pretty freaking good with 90 tackling at an 89 overall card. That's really really good he also has a 66 catching he's six foot one with an 80 jumping so not amazing uh there but still pretty solid he also has a stamina of a 93 which is actually really really good so to me roquan smith is probably overall the best budget middle linebacker so if you use your middle linebackers roquan is the best one that's actually at middle linebacker the other two players i'm about to show you you can put him in a linebacker but are going to be of course if you like to use your outside linebackers as well so going for literally right around 100,000 coins is 90 overall Leighton Van Der Esch, the GOAT outside linebacker, left outside linebacker, Leighton Van Der Esch. You guys see his stats. Even compared to 97 overall DeMarcus Ware, this man is still faster. He has 88 speed with 93 acceleration, and he's 6 foot 4 for a user card. Now, besides the fact that you can user him, he's got pretty good stats elsewhere, and if you're not using him, he's going to be okay. He has 90 tackling with 81 play rec. 84 block shit. of course he's not gonna be a pass rusher doesn't have the power but doesn't have finesse move but he has an 80 strength and 87 agility which is actually pretty important when you talk about outside linebackers or linebackers in general with how quickly they can move uh he also has a 93 excel 68 catching or i should say agility kind of you know how agile <laughs> they move on the field how fluent they transition between going like left and right and stuff uh tackle 90 jumping 93 jump that's the best jump I believe we've seen so far all video. That is really, really good jumping. He also has a zone of a 78 and a man of a 66. So his zone coverage isn't the best, which is kind of bullcrap. He's really, really good in coverage. So I think he should get, uh, to be honest, he should have higher zone. But you really want to use this card the majority of the time. Stamina of a 92 as well and a hit power of an 84. So not an amazing hit power, but... 88 speed you got 93 acceleration he's six foot four this is like how good anthony barr used to be as a user card anthony barr is still pretty solid with that uh 90 overall he has and then of course he just got a team of the week card this is a pretty comparable guy to anthony barr he also has 68 catching yeah lane van rush absolutely glitchy and of course you can put him a middle linebacker if you want to or if you use your left outside linebacker say you have a 4-3 defense where you like to use your outside linebackers you can definitely use your Layton. And my final best budget user card in Madden 19 is going to be Sean Taylor out of position. Now, of course, he's a right outside linebacker. He's going for about 80,000 coins. And compare him to someone who a lot of people think is a very, very good user card, and Anthony Barr, who's 6'5". Sean Taylor, only 6'2". Only 6'2 for a linebacker, still pretty freaking tall. 90 speed, 93 excel. One of the fastest outside linebackers, middle linebackers in the game absolutely crazy of course again you can put him at right it's a linebacker you can move him over to middle linebacker if you want but he's got 82 strength 78 tackling 82 block shift with a 77 finesse move he also has a catching of a 72 which is really really good catching uh he has a jumping of a 92 so that i believe layton had a 90 something like 92 93 so around the same as sean taylor and of course the hit power on sean taylor is going to be pretty big at an 87 a little bit lower than i actually thought it would be but still <laughs> the best outside linebacker user in the game 88 stamina as well so sean taylor definitely will top off this list honestly it's between sean and leighton van Der Esch for who i believe is actually the better one leighton does have a little bit of height on him but sean taylor has 90 speed 93 excel that's absolutely insane and plus the 82 block shit's pretty good as well and of course remember you can just take an outside linebacker put them in middle linebacker and i don't think it really changes that in your stats I think it changes like awareness or something, but it doesn't matter if you're going to be using them. So those are my best 
budget users in Madden 19. Make sure you guys let me know down below what other position you guys want to see next. I already did quarterback, so if you want to see running back, wide receivers, speedsters, whatever you guys want to see, let me know down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys very much for 55,000 subscribers. It has been absolutely insane. If you have not seen my videos from earlier today, make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. I'll see you guys next time.